Hello, my name is Jerry Bent with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video details how to log in and run reports using the CMS Supervisor web feature. You will log in to CMS Supervisor web using your standard web browser. The URL is https colon slash slash the hostname or IP address of the CMS server colon 8443 slash CMS web with the CMS and W capitalized. 8443 is the port number. The S in HTTPS is important as all data in the CMS Supervisor web is secured using HTTPS. I'm going to type in the URL for one of our CMS lab systems. Once you have finished typing in the URL, hit Return. The CMS Supervisor web login page will display. Now, when you first open the login web page, you may see a certificate warning message. Each web browser displays the warning differently. To get rid of the warning, the certificate should be accepted using the steps appropriate for your browser. The CMS Supervisor R16.3 Installation and Getting Started document explains the steps for each browser in Chapter 2. This document can be found on support.avaya.com. Also, CMS Supervisor Web uses the Adobe Flash Player to run the application browser. If your PC does not have Adobe Flash installed or you have an older version, you will be prompted to install the necessary version the first time you open the login page. You will log in using the same user ID and password you would use for the CMS Supervisor PC client or logging in directly to the CMS server. I am going to log in using user ID CMS SVC. It may take a few seconds for the main CMS Supervisor web page to display. Now I will go over some of the details of the main CMS web page and then demonstrate how to run reports. The traffic lights at the top of the page show the link status for the ACDs connected to the CMS. Red indicates no traffic, meaning the link is down. Green means the link is up and working. Yellow means that the link is trying to come up. The upper right corner of the page shows the user ID and master ACD clock time. The sign out link is used to log out of the web page. The left side of the page contains the navigation pane. It allows you to change the currently selected ACD or display historical or real time reports for the selected ACD. In order to change the ACD, you will click on Change Selected ACD, then click on one of the displayed ACD names, then click Apply. The current ACD will now show the ACD that you selected. Now I am going to switch back to my default ACD. Now let's move to Reports. On the left side, select either historical or real time. I'm going to start with historical. Then click on a report category such as split skill. A list of reports for that category will display. To filter the list, you can enter part of a report name in the filter field next to the magnifying glass. You can enter some things such as daily. Only reports with daily in the name will display. This field is case sensitive. So if you enter daily with lowercase d, no reports would match. You can clear the filter field to see all of the reports again. Now I am going to run a system daily report. I'll click on system and then system daily. When you select a report, the description will display at the bottom of the page. 
To see more details about the report, click on the Details button. The Report property screen will display. For custom reports, the owner will show a user ID. Then click Close to close the report properties window. To run the report, click the Run button. The report input window then displays. This will either open as a separate window or another tab depending on your browser settings. This allows you to run multiple reports by going back to the main supervisor web page and selecting another report. To enter data, you can type in the field or use the drop down arrow or browse button to the right of the field. For example, you can enter one for skill one or the drop down arrow shows field entries that were previously entered and you can choose from one of them. The Browse button shows entries from the CMS Dictionary. In this example, it would show dictionary entries for splits or skills. Once you click Browse, then the Browse Data window appears. Click on one item to select that item. Now, if the field allows multiple entries, such as this report, you can use Shift-Click or Control-Click to select multiple entries. I will hold down the control key and select platinum card and silver card. You can see that those entries were highlighted. Then click OK. In the date field, you can type a date or use relative numbers such as minus one for yesterday. Or again, you can use the drop down arrow to select a previously used date. Or you can click on the calendar button and select a date from the displayed calendar. Once you have your date selected, then click OK to run the report. Then the report will display. You can expand the width of the column by putting the cursor over the column heading edge and holding the right mouse button to drag the column. Also, you can sort report columns by double clicking on the column heading. I will demo this with the split skill. Okay, as you click each time, it will sort either ascending or descending. Now to explain the buttons at the top of the report. The export to CSV button will export the report data to a comma delimited text file that can be imported into Excel. The print button will print the report to any printer accessible to the PC. You should not use the browser print button as the report will not be formatted correctly. Click on the set input button to rerun the report with different input. The report input window will again display. Now you can change the input such as selecting a different date. Then click on OK to rerun the report. As you can see, the date changed to the new date. To exit the report, close the browser window or tab. Now back at the main CMS Supervisor web page, select Real Time to choose a real time report to run. Select a category and then a report. I'm going to select Vector and then vector report. Filtering the report names and details work the same as with historical reports. And then again, you would click Run to run the report. With real-time reports, there will be a refresh interval field instead of a date field. The refresh rate is the same as with real-time reports ran from the PC client or directly on the CMS server. Three seconds is the minimum allowed for this field. So you would enter data into the fields and then click OK to run the report. I'm going to run this report for vectors one through five and refresh interval of five. And then click OK. The set input, print, and export to CSV buttons work the same as discussed previously. 
there is one new button labeled Disabled Thresholds. If there are thresholds set for an entity, such as the vector or a skill, then the Disable Thresholds button will stop displaying any thresholds that are set. The button label will then change to Enable Thresholds. Then if you click on it again, that will enable the thresholds and the button will change to Disable Thresholds. As with historical reports, you close the browser window or tab to exit the report. Now to log out of the CMS Supervisor web, go to the right hand corner and click on Sign Out. This concludes this video on CMS Supervisor web reports. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor.